Okay, the outlook for salaries in 2016 is that companies are expecting to, um, to increase them by about 3%. Um, that will repeat the increases of about 3% seen in, in 2015. And based on the economic uh, forecasts that, that we're seeing out in the, out in the market, um, we may well see another year or two of, of, of increases in the 3% range uh, through 2017 and, and 2018. Those are, that will represent the sort of lowest sustained period of, of increases at that level uh, in quite some time. We saw um, salary increases bottom out at, at, two, at around about 3% in 2010, but they bounced back sort of straight away from that. So we are looking at a very um, lean time in terms of the rate at which salaries are increasing. Bonuses, on the other hand, uh, most organisations are, are attempting to preserve uh, bonus payment levels as much as their business performance allows. So being more conservative on the, the pay increases and hoping to, to sort of make up uh, any gap or, or um, shortfall in the, by paying out the bonus programs at the highest possible level. Um, we are seeing um, period, you know, hot spots in the market. They're not uh, extreme, but certainly they're around the areas where in, in periods of low economic growth, um, companies have sort of pretty much started to, to play all the cards they can around cost management and productivity. So areas that are, um, that are emerging as, as um, places where they higher than normal pay opportunities exist are in, in business development, so trying to get the top line moving, uh, in a new area called innovation. So it means a lot of different things in different companies, but it sort of has a, a strategy aspect, a sales aspect, a product service aspect. But looking at, at um, sort of breaking the mould and trying to get um, you know, above industry growth rates through innovation. And hand in hand with that is data and, and analytics and probably the hottest uh, job out in the market is the data scientist uh, at the moment. So those are the areas that, um, that we're seeing higher salary pressure. Now in an environment of 3% increases, differentiation becomes critical. Um, when you've only got 3% to spend and, and you do have strong performers or people whose market worth is increasing at 6, 7, 8% a year, the 3% doesn't go very far. And so it does mean that um, the companies are having to be very, very um, um, careful and, and um, considered in who they give their increases to. So we are seeing wider than normal differentiation because um, you know, in order to pay for those higher increases, uh, more and more people have to receive zero, one or two percent, and in many cases a one or two percent increase is not that, uh, that worth providing. The other force that, um, that many organisations are having to balance in this picture as well in terms of spending at three percent or investing at three percent is uh, rectifying gender pay differentials and the significant analysis and um, um, uh, interrogation of data to understand in each individual organisation if and where a gender pay gap exists and allocating the scarce uh, salary increase budget to, you know, um, making remediations to, um, to areas where um, pay seems to be driven by, by gender and nothing else. So uh, the next few years, pretty, um, pretty interesting times in terms of spending that very, what seems like a very meagre 3% uh, budget.